never thought that I would be carrying a uh, prosthetic ankle around everywhere, <laughs> but uh, here I am. <laughs> here he is, Nikki Agari, holding what he hopes will solve a problem that affects an estimated 200 million people worldwide, urinary incontinence. Often it's a silent journey. The idea born out of innovation, but more out of consideration for his own aging family. My grandfather, it was such a, a plague to him. He, he wouldn't tell anyone. I wanted to work on something for him because I wanted him to age in a dignified way. That was in 2017. Agari spent years in med tech. He says it provided the foundation he needed and the pandemic provided the opportunity. This problem just continued to stick with me. Even though my career was going in a different direction, it led me back to it because I wanted to solve that problem. He began a fellowship at Harvard where he was introduced to the Innovation Lab. It was here where he found a team. What we found was there was no easy way to treat patients with urinary incontinence. The medication caused a lot of side effects, whereas uh, the surgical therapies were highly invasive. The problem? Majority of our patients will be elderly patients. They're not good candidates for surgery. After a lot of experimentation, he developed what he calls the in-confidence smart patch. We target a nerve peripherally on the lower ankle, and what it does, it affects the neural communication up from the ankle to the bladder, and it normalizes the afferent signals, or the signals going from the bladder to the brain. If the bladder is able to communicate normally to the brain, it restores normal behavior. This is one of our very first prototypes, and what we really wanted to do is uh, allow patients who suffer from this condition to position the electrodes themselves to be able to discreetly treat their problems at home. We want it to be just like a continuous glucose monitor where it's positioned once a week and they forget about it. Jellyfish-inspired cancer treatments mimicking geckos to make medical tape and surgical staples influenced by the quills of porcupines. Some might call it weird science or perhaps the most natural kind there is. I like to look at nature as the ultimate problem solver. Any creature that's alive today or any plant is here because it has solved insurmountable problems. Welcome to the lab of Jeff Karp, professor of medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital, where bio-inspiration has solved major medical conundrums. When I was in the third grade, we moved out to the country. Just kind of being submersed in that environment really fueled my curiosity for really everything, and in particular, nature. Though Carp is far from the first to be bio-inspired by nature, it's a childhood superhero who reignited his curiosity. When I was doing my postdoc at MIT, I saw a journal article that had a picture of Spider-Man, an action figure, actually hanging from the ceiling. I recognized it was in a nature journal. And what the authors had done, by learning how geckos can attach to surfaces with a single toe pad and just hang their entire body weight, they had learned how that interaction creates a, a great adhesive interaction with that surface. I was immediately inspired to try to see how I might use nature as a tool to solve medical problems. CARP's team has invented a surgical glue that not only remains sticky in wet environments, but CARP says it is strong enough to hold together a beating heart. Probably the most challenging environment inside the human body because it's incredibly wet, so heart's beating on average 60 beats a minute, it's expanding, contracting, and if you put something on a surface that's kind of stretching out and, and, and contracting, it can fall off. So we turn to nature for inspiration. Sometimes you'll see a snail sitting on a leaf and it's raining and it's staying put, it's not falling off. You know, you might see it walk across the ground, there's kind of this goo behind it. In the ocean, we have sandcastle worms that sit on rocks, and as the waves hit the rocks, they remain attached very strongly. They both have secretions. So that gave us some inspiration to create a tissue glue that was in a, a precursor form that was viscous, kind of like honey. We would be able to inject it inside the beating heart. It would repel the blood away from the surface. And because it's viscous, it would stay there long enough for us to then shine light on it. And the light, we engineered the system so that the glue would then cure. 
Amazing. The CARP lab is hopeful the glue technology will help with a wide range of surgeries, but at the moment they are focused on hernia operations as well as infant heart surgery, where there is a great need for a substance less painful and more flexible. Back to the, the in confidence patch. It's in clinical trials right now. Sadly, Nikki Agari's grandfather has since passed away, but not before he served as the original test patient for the device. Still ahead, road trip.